of Toronto. My name is Lisa Nicole. I'm a Canadian country music artist from BC. You're watching Q&A with Lady K. When your heart's done running from the only love you'll ever need. When you're ready, come find me. Where the moon falls soft through the trees like the first kiss that you gave me. That's where incubator where a few years ago you were enrolled yeah what does it feel like to be back I love coming back here it's it's a beautiful building and you know they're all my mentors up there so it's great to come back and kind of touch base with them and connect with them again how has CMI uh, helped you get to where you are today it was an amazing program like it's I, I went to music school and I felt like going to doing this was like way better yeah I learned so much and I made so many great connections and also you know networked a lot and made friends with artists and stuff which is also great since your time at CMI you've released your EP come find me yeah you have three radio singles yeah. music videos <laughs> and toured across Canada yep <laughs> so I'd say you're well on your way oh thank you <laughs> now talk to me a bit about your latest single yeah mad about it it just hit country radio mm -hmm. in January January. Yeah, yeah, I I love this song, and uh, you know I wrote this song a few years ago after the Canadian Country Music Awards um, with my friend Olivia Wick. It was our first song we ever wrote, and we wrote it in like a couple hours. Wow! And uh, and I I've been waiting to release it. We I think I wrote it in 2014, so it's been a few years, and now here it is. For those who don't know, it was inspired by a guy who cheated. Yeah, on, on one of my tours. I think <gasps> it was my first tour across across Canada. Yeah. Oh no. I know, heartbreaker. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Cheaters. But I know. <laughs> but then you know, I wrote a song about them, so it it worked out. <laughs> yes, yes. You turned a negative into a Pause. big positive. Yeah, exactly, and that's what it's all about, right? Your will, her clothes. Last night they came undone. powder from my gun and I leave a mess behind and leave it for you to find and now I'm mad about it gonna throw a wild fit I'll be screaming your name till the morning leave a part of me you wish you'd never see well, it's so relatable and yeah. every single girl out there has secretly wanted to powder her nose <laughs> from the powder of her gun. <laughs> I, that's my favorite line that I wrote. It's mine too. Yeah. Um, as you can see. <laughs> but just to be clear, the events that you wrote in your song yeah. didn't actually happen no, in um, real life. Like, no. You didn't put kerosene in the cheater's whiskey. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <Did> <laughs> and mixed it up. Here you go. Yeah. Cheers. Drink up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's uh, that's just the part of songwriting where you can kind of have fun and be creative with, with the words. Yeah. Kerosene and whiskey, mix it in my cup. Cause I'm mad about it, gonna throw a wild fit I'll be screaming your name till the morning This part of me I wish I'd never seen What does this song and video tell fans about who you are? Well, I think that um, I try to find good in every bad situation and I try to put a positive spin You know, maybe not the day of, <laughs> I, I got pretty mad about it <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but you know after after it passes, you you think, okay, this happened for a reason. Mm -hmm. There's a reason that you know bad things happen to good people, and in the music video, I portrayed that with paint. So you know, yes. instead of you know unleashing your madness in in any kind of violence, we painted the guy. 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea was to do paint? Because that's that's genius. Oh, well, I kind of had an idea that I wanted to do something with paint. Yeah. And then and then it was the director's idea and the producer, the co-producer, um, to build this box and kind of have that when I opened my eyes, we're inside his brain. And I'm like writing on these walls, mad and, you know, cheater. And But, you know, what was really funny is that he, uh, the director was like, hey, you need to get more mad about it. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm trying. And I'd hit, hit him with the paintbrush and I'd be like, I'm sorry. Was that too hard? <laughs> Uh, was it nerve-wracking or exciting or, like, what did it feel portraying a different side of you? It was a little bit, um, yeah, a little bit nervous because the whole the whole music video was different. The cover is different. All this pink and, you know, what I wore was different because I'm usually pretty conservative. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, it was definitely a edgy side, I think, that people maybe haven't seen of me. You mentioned your clothing. Clothing was provided by Scout. Yeah, Scout Clothing, and that's like um, a local clothing store um, close to my hometown in Nelson. Now, this is super cool. Yeah. I know a lot of singers out there and non-singers mm -hmm. are extremely jealous of you. Oh, no. Yes. Um, and I'm sure you've told this story a thousand okay, times. Yeah. <laughs> you know where I'm going. I know. Um, what was it like performing with Keith Urban? I know. Um, it was dream, a dream come true, literally. Yeah. <laughs> literally. Yeah. So my last trip to Nashville, um, I heard that Keith was doing a pop-up concert, secret show that big stars will do sometimes when they're on a break. And um, so I went down to 12th and Porter. I waited in line. I signed a CD to him, called mom, and I was like, Mom, Keith is playing a show tonight in Nashville. I'm going to sing with him. He doesn't know this yet, but uh, it's going to happen. <laughs> and so I made my way through the front of the crowd, and a few ladies were like, you're not coming through. And I was like, come on. <laughs> and uh, waited for a quiet moment and just like, Keith, Keith, my name's Lisa Nicole. Basically, I want to sing with you and, and you can find the rest on YouTube. Country artist, I'm from BC, Canada. And uh, I'm out here on, our, on a songwriting trip right now. And, and uh, this is my second CD here that I'm past in. Releasing songs here it is. In stores now, if you can find one. <laughs> is your last name Nicole? It's my middle name. We won't go. <laughs> I barely met you when you're tattooed on my arm. It's crazy. How did you concentrate on the song lyrics, though? Because I, well, like, I feel mm -hmm. like if that was me, I would just Well, be totally you know what's funny about that is I've been performing that song um, since it came out in country bars. So with my guitar player, Jason Thomas. And so I've basically been rehearsing for that moment. Right. <laughs> Your whole time. And yeah. that, was, uh, that was in the time when Fighter was out with Carrie. Yes. So he probably thought I was going to say, can I sing Fighter? But I said, we were us. Love Miranda Labert and Carrie Underwood. But um, yeah, so I was ready for it. Uh, what advice do you have for singers who want to pursue their dream? Work really hard. Um, it's kind of a when you wake up to when you fall asleep kind of yeah. business. So literally, I mean, you know, you can take time to enjoy life and and cuz that's how you what you write songs about and stuff. But you got to hustle. <laughs> like you have to work nonstop and, you know, book tours and learn the business, you know, don't just jump into management with uh, someone and just learn how to do everything. Yeah. Now, you're just coming off a tour. Mm -hmm. So, what what has the tour been like? It's been incredible. The shows have been fantastic. Um, we played a few days in, in Thunder Bay. That was really fun. Although the drive from Thunder oh. Bay, mm -mm. Not, not so no. good. Um, what else? Oh, we ran out of gas once. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> yeah. There's a, yeah, there's probably a video out there with Jason, me walking out with a jerry can. He probably took a video of me like on the highway. <laughs> you are touring in a special custom-made Ford. Yes. If I'm correct. So one of my sponsors back home is AM Ford. They're a local dealership, and they're just great people, a great company. And, uh, and Speed Pro, another local company, and um, the Trail, Trail Beer Refinery, they all sponsored my tour, and very grateful for those um, people and to believe in me and, and put me in a safe vehicle all the way across Canada, across the States. You know, it's, it's great. Uh, what's next for you? What can we expect in the next few months? Well, uh, songwriting. I'm focusing on songwriting because, um, you know, when you're at home, you get tied into, like, the normal life stuff. And um, so I'm really excited to be in Nashville and just write every day, 
sing at night, and then when I'm done there, um, I'll have a great song to, to release. What about Nashville inspires you? Well, I find it really homey feeling, and really it's just the music that inspires yeah. me. Just the vibe and the energy there. Everyone's after the same thing, and everyone's so good. So that's yes. really cool, and I'm just excited to collaborate with lots of people and, and learn and get better. Well, I can't wait. I can't yeah. wait to hear what comes out of that trip. Thank and you. I can't wait to see who you ambush yeah. next on stage. Hopefully Miranda Lambert. Yes. <laughs> I have my fingers crossed for you. We're putting it out there. We're putting We're it putting out there it right out there. now. So I it's will. Going to happen. <laughs> yeah. It's going to happen. Well, thank you so much, Lisa. Yeah, it's been thank a pleasure you. chatting with you. I love um, Mad About It. Thank love you. the song. Okay. And to all the girls and yeah. guys who've been cheated on. Check it out. <laughs> I'd like to thank Canada's Music Incubator for hosting mm -hmm. Lisa and myself and a big shout out to Nova Current Creative Solutions for making this interview yes. possible. Yes. Okay, Canada, what are you mad about? Oh, hey, have you hit the subscribe button yet? Because I'd hate for you to miss more videos like this one.